Should I get eye racing? Is a question that I'm being asked a lot recently because I've been playing a lot of eye racing. And whatever I play, people ask me, should I play it as well? So I'm going to answer the question as succinctly and as honestly as possible. Fasten your seatbelts, sip your tea, let's go. In typical YouTuber fashion, I'm going to delay the answer for a second to ask that you maybe click the like button, potentially subscribe, bang your forehead on the bell, and remember that underneath the video, we have a Fanatec affiliate link that if you click before buying a sim racing equipment on the Fanatec store, I get money and it allows me to keep making mediocre, miserable, bold git sim racing content. Thank you for the support, everyone. Sorry for that delay, the train will now be arriving at platform two. So, should you get iRacing? Okay, I'm going to say the most crucial, important thing to, to, to hammer, <laughs> hammer into your head first, is this, this point. If you are not prepared to spend £350 this year, or the first year of iRacing, then no, you should not get iRacing. And I think... A load of people that are really annoyed with iRacing and its sales model and how it all operates are people that kind of got a little bit tricked or marketed into thinking that they could get into iRacing and it'll be like, oh, it's only £60 for six months and I've got a half price thing and I will just get a few cars. I use the base content and uh, I'll just gradually build up my stuff and uh, that'll be all right. I can kind of cheap it through and I'll get through there. If you go into it with that mindset and philosophy and thinking it's going to be cheap and affordable compared to other video games, iRacing will really piss you off. <laughs> so do not, do not buy iRacing unless you're prepared to spend at least £350 in your first year and £150 or so each year moving forwards as you renew your subscription, buy new tracks and buy additional cars. Okay, you're prepared to spend that sum of money on a driving simulator slash video game. Fantastic. You're a loser, just like me. Separate to the money aspect, which is fairly crucial when it comes to buying stuff. I mean, that's normally what's holding people back. I would say, you know, if you're already enjoying the other driving simulators, AC, R Factor 2, Race Room, and especially if you're doing league racing, you're not going to get as much value generally from iRacing because, well, you're probably getting really good competitive racing in what you're already doing. Now, you might want to augment what you're already doing with iRacing as well if you've got the free time. Uh, a lot of people do have a lot of free time at the moment. I don't know why. Hmm. It's almost as if people are trapped in their houses for some reason. But, uh, yeah, you know, you might want to add iRacing to that repertoire if you've got the money for it. But uh, you can enjoy what you already enjoy without having to add to it. I think there's a sort of an illusion or, or a, a weirdo myth that iRacing is the simulator. And, you know, when you see bold Git YouTubers or other YouTubers playing games and having fun with it, it, it kind of does make you feel a bit pressured to be like, oh, I need to get into that as well. You, you don't need to. You don't need to get into anything. If you're enjoying what you're already doing, save save your money, uh, save your time and focus on what you're already enjoying doing. Maybe try iRacing. I'm not saying don't try it. <laughs> I'm just saying don't you know don't be pressured into things just just enjoy what you've got sometimes that's a good thing to do now a big thing to consider with iRacing as well is what cars you like to drive and which cars happen to be active on the iRacing service so they don't it's not really talked about that much but some cars on iRacing really just aren't that active or they don't run as many races with them so if that happens to be a car you want to drive well then you're out of luck matey generally speaking the slower cars tend to be more popular there are outliers to that the uh like the f3.0 has proved to be quite popular and the lmp2 car with the imza series has been quite popular but really um the most popular series that i'm aware of that happens every hour is the skip barber which literally any time of the day any day of the week you can always get a race so if you like those types of vehicles in particular and you you know you're playing it for for racing you're not playing it for car lust um then you know it absolutely could be really really fantastic and i think this is one of the big appeals of iRacing and this is this would be a reason to really get it is if you're the type of person that has a life so you're not me <laughs> if you've got a wife maybe you've got children maybe you've got a job and you, you actually still have your job despite most people not having a job anymore somehow you've got you know you have to manage your time um you will find that iRacing is a fantastic service for 
you've got an hour you can find a race there should be a, there'll be at least a skippy race and there's probably at least one other car where you'll be able to get into it and have a race people will drive into you uh, people will shout at you in, in uh, strong accents but you know that's part of iRacing so you know that that is a really great aspect of iRacing but yes be aware that certain cars really aren't driven that much or that they don't run the races that much and certain cars even when they do have the races just just aren't prescribed that much by by users if you do have a specific car you want to race and only that car then what i'd do is i'd type a message on the reddit uh, the iRacing subreddit and uh, ask people is this a popular series how often does it run and that'd be a good way to find out now i've left this a bit late uh, because i'm british and we have lots of roundabouts so driving around in circles is what you know it's a bit dull makes you a little bit motion sick and uh, is frankly annoying but it does uh, reduce traffic jams and work as a successful traffic calming measure but um say you're from a culture where uh, you, you feel that you have to carry a fa- firearm or at least be allowed to have a firearm so that you can protect yourself from everyone else that has firearms um and you want to do oval racing, you want to race around those roundabouts the wrong way, then uh, iRacing is pr- pretty much the only oval racing simulator. And, you know, you, if you want to do oval racing, you're going to have to get iRacing. Joking aside, I do actually quite enjoy oval racing. I think lots of people would do, and they you need to give it a go before you poo-poo it. Um, you know, it's quite fun, just like the way you have to draft and the timing and especially doing sprint oval races and the cars sliding all over the place. There is actually a lot to it, just like there is to indoor cycling. Um, but but yeah, yeah it's, it is actually quite good. Um, also, there's loads of like really Southern Americans and you've got voice chat in iRacing. So you can really ruffle their feathers by uh, just suggesting things like, I don't know, national health care, which is proven to be cheaper and more effective than private health care. That, that, that gives you at least a 10 horsepower boost against the drivers that are then foaming at the mouth at the suggestion of something that's potentially slightly socialist. But, uh, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I, I rate, it's good to try. And also... Uh, a nice thing with the oval is um, if you're sort of a super casual oval racer, oval racer such as myself, um, you can just really just use the base content, not buy anything additional to that. And so, you know, if you're buying into the road stuff and that's what your focus is, you can still jump into the oval and have a, and have a good time. It does. It's kind of like another part of iRacing that you can dip your toes in occasionally as a casual or just go fully into it if, if, if you're mental. But uh, yeah, so, you know... Should you get eye racing? If you can afford that £350, I, I, you know what? I'm going to get a comment in this video. iRacer's going, oh, well, you can do it for cheaper. Oh, take advantage of the participation credits. Oh, use this Christmas special turkey offer. No. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have to do all that bollocks to play a game. It, it, you, can, you could do it for cheaper. You, you could just do one series and skip tracks here and there. But look... You don't want to be thinking about that when you're playing a game for entertainment. You want to be like, right, I want to do Skippy. I'm going to get all the tracks for the Skippy. I'm going to take advantage of the discount code that comes from buying a bulk of number of tracks. And I am then, I could do the Skippy properly. I don't have to think about it ever again. I don't have to take my wallet out ever again. I could just do the Skippy and have a good time. And maybe one of the series with a couple of tracks. Uh, you know, 350 will mean that you've got that in your head and sure you might spend 250 you might even spend like 230 or or 280 or whatever you know you might spend less but at least you're not going to be annoyed if it does actually start to mount up to that 350 figure in the first year um so that's that (laughs) if anyone types that in the comment section they will be kneecapped with a blunt spoon um what, where was I? I've lost myself, guys. Triggered myself preemptively predicting the annoying internet <laughs> comments. This is what happens when YouTube too much. Um, if you can afford it, you bear in mind what I've said in this video. Yeah, I think a lot of people really enjoy iRacing. If you just want to try it out and and you maybe you don't want to you don't have that budget in mind, but you still want to give it a little go, by all means do their like new user account offer where it's like a, a half price thing. Do three months of that just to get an inkling of what it's like, what the handling's like to see if you you know if if the handling and the general nature of it appeals to you, and then you can make a more informed decision. If you want to do that, I've got a link under the video. Um, I'm not responsible for ruin. <laughs> I, I am. I am responsible. If I ruin your life with iRacing and you spend money on it, it's, I take responsibility. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Sorry for you, all the people that bought some racing equipment because of my stupid videos. Oh, I've just made the world worse. If I hadn't been born, it would have been a better place. Anyway, you can click that link if you want to do iRacing. Or not, it's entirely up to you. I get iRacing credits if you do, so I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's that's it, guys. That is the end of this video. I'm going to do another video soon, talking about some of the stuff I found with iRacing, because I have really been enjoying it recently. been playing it quite a lot. Um, that's not an endorsement. Again, very neutral, but I have actually been enjoying it. I feel bad saying that. I'm sorry. If iRacing isn't for you, then I really, really recommend getting Assetto Corsa, get Content Manager, and sign up for Sim Racing System. It's not as fleshed out or as busy as iRacing, but you can still have absolutely cracking racing on there, especially if you're like newish to Sim Racing, which you probably are if you'd like looking to get into iRacing right now. Um, that that would do you fine. Sim Racing System and AC will there's so much to get out of that so much enjoyment to have and ac as a simulator is amazing all the tracks in the world most of them free for mods loads of free mods if there's a car that you happen to be like oh wonder what that's kind of like to drive ac is the way to go road cars race cars it doesn't matter they're all amazing amazing physics amazing graphics runs nicely don't cost much assetto corsa praise be the assetto corsa so there you go Hopefully that answered the question for you. If it did, you, you got a like button there. If it didn't, uh, just ask a question in the comment section. Also, there's probably stuff I missed out, reasons why you would or would not want to play iRacing. So if any of you, you know, that are watching this uh, have good reasons not to or to, to play iRacing, let, let me know in the comment section for people looking to get into iRacing so you can warn them or advise them. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm also thinking of doing more of these videos, so uh, prepare yourself for more badly answered questions. But uh, if you're new to all this, like, you can subscribe and, and then you'll be informed when we next do a video. Check out our review playlist as well. All sim goodness there, explaining all devices and stuff that you might want to waste your money on. But uh, until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching this. Happy tea drinking and goodbye.